Like the video and subscribe in the next 5 seconds for one whole week of good luck. Hey guys, Adventure here and in this video I'll be doing a test to see what your mental age is. Your mental age basically will reveal how smart you are and how you think. For example, you may be 12 years old but your mental age could be 40 years old, meaning that you think just like a 40 year old does. Make sure you watch the video until the end because that's when we'll be calculating what your mental age is. This video will also reveal a lot about your personality so don't miss out on that. Also, comment your answer to each question as we go through them. I'm interested to know what you guys have to say. Alright, so how this is going to work is that I'm going to ask you guys some multiple choice questions. Each answer will give you some points. I want you to add up the points you get for each question so keep a calculator with you for this video. At the end we'll add up all the points together and then I will tell you what your mental age is. Alright, the first question is, if you had to pick one of these animals, which animal would you pick? A dog, a unicorn, a lion or an elephant? Comment your answer below. Alright, so here are the points of each answer. Write down the points that your answer had and get ready to add this onto your next answer. Alright, which one of these would you most likely do on the weekend? Would you play video games? Read a book? Stay home with your family? Or go out with some friends? Comment what you would rather do. Alright, here are your points for these questions. Add what you scored for this question onto your total points. If you had to pick one of these jobs as your dream job, which one would you pick? Would you rather be a YouTuber, a doctor, a teacher or an actor? Comment your answer below. Alright, here are your points. Add what you scored for this question onto your total points. Comment below what your favourite season of the year is. Is it summer, fall, winter or spring? Really take some time and think about your answer. Alright, so here are your points for this question. Add what you scored onto your total points. If you were to go on a holiday, which one of these locations would you go to? Would you go to some theme parks like Disneyland? Would you go to the beach? Would you go to a museum? Or would you rather not go on holiday and just stay at home? Comment what your answer is. Here are the points for this question. Add what you got onto your total number of points. Out of these four types of shoes here, comment below which one you would most likely wear. Would you rather wear sneakers, wear high heels, wear slippers or just wear whatever your mum or dad tells you to wear? Alright, so here are the points for this question. Don't forget to add what you got onto your total score. If you had to pick out of these four foods, which one would you say is your favourite? Would you say that pizza is your favourite, steak is your favourite, ice cream is your favourite or salad is your favourite food? Comment your answer below as well. Here are the points for this question, add this on to your total. What is your favourite day out of these four days in the year? Is it Easter, New Year's or New Year's Eve? Christmas or your birthday? Comment your answer as well, I'm interested to know what you guys have to say. Alright, here are the points, add what you got onto your total score. If you could choose to live in any one of these four locations, which location would you choose? Would you live in a loud and populated city? Would you live in a quiet country town? Would you live in the suburbs? Or would you live by the ocean? Comment your answer below as well. Here are the points, add what you scored onto your total number. If you could only choose to have one of these four things, which one would you rather have? Would you rather be married and have a family? Would you rather be happy all the time? Would you rather be famous? Or would you rather be rich? This question is really interesting so comment below what your answer would be because I'm interested to know what you guys would choose. Alright, here are the points for this question, add what you got onto your total number. When it comes to your living arrangements, which one of these options would you rather pick? Would you rather live at home with your parents, live with your best friends in a house together, live alone, or live in a house with no other people but you can stay with your pets? Comment your answer below. Alright, here are the points for this question. Add your points onto the total score. Out of these four options, how do you usually like to travel when you're getting around day to day? Would you rather catch a bus? Cash the train, drive by a car, or just walk? Comment your answer to this question as well. All 
Alright, here are the points for this question. Add this onto your total score. Alright, so that was the 12 questions in this test. Now what I want you guys to do is add all the points you scored from each question together. Make sure you add them correctly. If you need to pause the video or even go back and check some questions again if you think you made a mistake, go and do that now. After your numbers are all added together, I'll then be telling you guys what your mental age is. This is going to be pretty cool, so make sure you keep watching to find out what your mental age is. After you have added your scores together, comment below what your total score is as well. I'm really interested to know what you guys got. Alright, so if you scored anywhere between 120 and 170, this means you have the mental age of someone aged 6 to 12 years old. This probably just means that you're a young person who enjoys the fun things in life. It also means that you don't take things seriously and basically just do whatever makes you happy in life. If you scored this, you're most likely just a really fun and happy person. Alright, next if you scored between 180 and 220, it means that you have the mental age of someone who is 13 to 19 years old. This means that you're someone who is good at solving problems and can think about multiple things at once. It also means that you're good with dealing with problems that come towards you and rather than running away from your problems you face them head on. But some people in this age can also get distracted by others easily so this means it can also be a weakness for them. Comment below if you fall into this mental age. Alright next if you score between 230 and 280 this means you have the mental age of someone between 20 and 24 years old. This means you're a person who is starting to learn about the responsibilities in life and instead of relying on other people you actually do a lot of things by yourself. Even though you're a responsible person you do like to occasionally have fun and do some crazy stuff once in a while when you're around people that you're comfortable with. Let me know if you fall into this mental age in the comments. Next, if you score between 290 and 330, you have the mental age of someone aged 25 to 31 years old. If you're this mental age, you're someone who's actually quite smart. You're starting to know what you want to do in life and have a goal that you want to achieve. It also means that you're around good people that you can trust. It also means that you value things like family and friends over things like money. Let me know in the comments if your mental age is between 25 and 31 years old. Next, if you score between 340 and 400, this means you have the mental age of someone who is 32 to 39 years old. Old. If you're in this mental age, it means that you're someone who is starting to care about others as much as you care about yourself. It also means that you're quite a smart person since people in their mid-30s reach their peak intelligence. You're able to solve really hard problems without much trouble and actually find them quite fun as well. Let me know in the comments if you're in this mental age group. Next, if you score between 410 and 450, it means that your mental age is between 40 and 49 years old. This means that you're a really independent person and other people actually look up to you. When people are around you, they feel safe since you're a person who is able to help others and avoid certain problems. It also means that you're someone who is working towards your goals in life and is really happy with everything that is going on around them. Let me know if you're in this mental age group. And next, if you scored anything above 460, it means that you have the mental age of someone who is over 50 years old. This means that you're a person who cares about others more than you care about themselves. It also means that things such as money and expensive things don't really interest you. You'd rather just enjoy life and try to be as happy as you can. Comment below if you're in this mental age. Anyway guys, that's it for this mental age test. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Also, let me know in the comments what your mental age was. I'm interested to know what all of you guys ended up getting after taking this test. I hope all of you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been Adventure. Peace.